Greetings, investors of Earth. I'm Gabe, and this is my channel, GS Strategies. Thanks for being here. So today I'm going to talk about a much requested uh, video on how to start an LLC for trading purposes. Now, I'm going to preface this video with this. If you are a buy and hold uh, type of investor, then this video is not for you. However, if you find yourself day trading or swing trading often and you meet other certain requirements, which I'll go over, then this might be for you. I am just bringing this video to light and, and so I hope that I help some people get better rules and regulations that govern trading for them and they can open up a plethora of benefits like tax benefits, etc. But I'm not going to go into detail in that. But I will, I will produce resources so that you can do a further uh, deep dive and research to see if this is right for you. This video is going to be short, sweet, and to the point. Okay? So I say again, if you are a buy and hold investor, then this video is not for you. So here we go. Retail traders and professional traders, believe it or not, are not governed by the same rules. Retail traders have to succumb to what's called the wash sale. And the wash sale is basically when you buy something, sell it for a loss, and then before 30 calendar days have passed, you buy it again. Now because you bought it again while it's in its wash while it's in its wash sale time frame, you basically negate the loss that you took and then that gets added on to the cost basis and I know that sounds confusing, so look it up and do your own research to get the full definition of it. But if you do it in a bad timing, like towards the end of the year, and I know this because this happened to me, then you might be paying taxes on capital gains that you didn't have. So again, research wash sale rule and, and look at your broker and see if you have any wash sales in there. So that's one thing that they have to succumb to. Another thing is if you have a bad trading year, and let's just say you lose $10,000, you can only claim up to $3,000 in the current tax year, and then you have to carry forward the remaining loss. So that way you carry it forward to the, to the next year and hope that you will have capital gains to go against it. Now, that's just two quick things that retail traders slash investors have against them. A good thing about being a retail investor is that you can make benefit from what's called long-term capital gains tax. That's when you own something for a year or longer, and then when you sell it, you pay less than capital gains because you owned it for more than a year. That's a good thing. That is one thing that a professional trader or someone who trades underneath an LLC does not get. If you are a professional trader or you trade under an LLC, you will most likely have what's called mark to market accounting. And mark to market accounting is great in many ways, and I'll go over some of them really quick. But one of the ways it's not great is that at the end of the year, whether you are up on your position or down on your position, you either have to sell it for real or sell it on paper. The next tax year, your cost basis changes to whatever you sold it at on the previous, whatever you sold it at, right? Because it can be a fictitious sale, meaning not for real, but on paper, or it can be a real sale. I don't want to get into the weeds of too much. Long-term capital gains will allow you to own for more than a year and get great tax benefits, meaning you pay less on your capital gains once you do sell it. A professional trader or someone under an LLC does not benefit from long-term capital gains, and it's very important you understand that. But again, if you are trading, then long-term capital gains is not your thing. Listen, I've always said that if you're going to invest, then invest. And if you're going to trade, then trade. But never go into an investment investment with a trader's mindset or go into a trade with an investment mindset. You should separate both. And in my opinion, you should have two different accounts for both. But that's just my opinion and not advice. Moving on. Benefits of trading under an LLC or, a, uh, or, or, uh, or the status of a professional trader is that you get mark-to-market -market accounting and there is no minimum loss that you can um, get deduction for at the end of the year. So if you're a trader or, or trade under an LLC and you have a bad year, like a lot of people had in here in 2022, if you lose $10,000 at the end of the year or $20,000, whilst a retail trader can only claim $3,000 and carry forward the rest, a professional trader 
um, or, or someone who trades under an LLC and has mark-to-market accounting, they get to claim that entire loss. So let's say, I'll give you an example really quick. Let's say you have a day job and in that day job, you make $100,000 a year after taxes, after every normal deduction for your, for your, day, for your day job. And in your, L, in your trading LLC, you lose money. You lose $20,000. Well, that $20,000 is an additional deduction on your income because it's a pass-through entity. And instead of paying taxes on $100,000, in this example I'm giving, you're going to pay taxes on $80,000 because you are able to claim 100% of your losses if you trade under an LLC or have a, the, the, the IRS basically classifies you as a professional trader. Being classified as a professional trader has a litany of things that you must do in order to meet the circumstance. Or you can simply open up an LLC and, and then open up a brokerage account under that LLC and start trading under it. And then you'll get the same exact um, rights and benefits that a professional trader does. Last but not least, and again, I'm going to be very vague here because I'm going to ask that you do your own research and you consult your own CPA for tax advice. But I will say this. When you trade under an LLC, that LLC is a business. Some of the things that you do in order to trade better, like buy equipment, buy education, buy um, uh, some kind of service that gives you up to the minute uh, stock quotes or whatever it may be. Because you're doing it from a business, most of the time, not all the time, consult your CPA for this, but most of the time, things that are done for your business are also tax deduction. So if you have to buy software to trade, that can be considered a tax deduction. You get the gist, right? Again, this is not tax advice. I am simply trying to lead you guys in a direction where you will talk to true professionals that can give you the actual legal advice that you need in order to make the right decisions. Now, I will put resources in the description of this video so that you can um, look at some articles. I am also going to give you a link to the CPA uh, company that I use, and they are called Traitors Accounting. And Traitors Accounting was great for me because they are truly your one-stop shop for setting up your LLC, giving you the advice you need on what LLC is right for you depending on the, on the, on the, on the state that you live in because you have a sole propriety, you have partnership. There's lots of different ones. You can go S-Corp, you can go C-Corp, right? They are the tax experts that will tell you based on your situation what is right for you. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description for Traders Accounting, and I want to be completely transparent here. I've been using them for many, many years, and I reached out to them. I said, hey, I'm doing a video on, on why people should or should not create an LLC to trade, and I'm so happy with you guys that I want to bring you guys some business while I'm doing that. Is there any affiliate program that you may have? And uh, they said, sure, Gabe, here you go. Use this link and any business that we get from um, this link, you will get some kind of a kickback. So depending on the business you do depends on what I get. I just want full transparency for you to know that if you do use my link and you do open up an LLC and you do do business with them, that I will be getting something. And for that, I am thanking you ahead of time. So Again, an LLC, if you are a trader, in my opinion, is a great way to get better rules for trading and open the door for a plethora of deductions, of tax deductions that you would not have gotten otherwise as a normal run-of-the-mill retail trader. Now, I'm just going to give you a, a, a couple things. You might want to write this down or refer back to this video. This is my opinion on what you should do or have if you decide to go this route. You need, the absolute minimum that you need is $25,000 in capital, right? And you must have that at all times in your account. You can't fall under below, you, can't, you cannot fall below $25,000 in worth 
because then the rules change. I, won't, I don't want to get into that. You can look that up. I recommend not starting an LLC until you have at least double the minimum, which is 25000 So I recommend, this is my per personal opinion, $50,000 to start a trading LLC with. That is the bare minimum that you should have, in my opinion. Now, here's the good stuff. Here's what I wish people told me when I was on my journey. So you, you contact Traders Accounting. They, 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 they help you out. They tell you everything that you need to know in order to create an LLC. And then next thing you know, you, you have an LLC. You're going to receive something called an EIN number, right? Once you receive that EIN number, before you do anything else, you go straight to the bank, any bank that you decide. You open up a business checking account. That is the checking account that you will deposit at your minimum of $50,000 in my opinion. This is key. And this is, this is what you wanna do to remain good, uh, to have good practice going forward. You put the money in your LLC checking account. Then you go to a brokerage. I use TD Ameritrade. I'm not getting any kickbacks for telling you that, but to me, they are the most premier brokerage. To me, I like them a lot and I love Thinkorswim platform. So I use TD Ameritrade. So you go to the brokerage of your choice and you say, I want to open up a LLC brokerage account. And then after you open it up, after it's open, then you apply. You have to tell them, now I want my brokerage account to have mark to market accounting, mark to market accounting. Although when your CPA will do your taxes and you'll see wash sales on your on your trades, right? When your CPA gets all the data, because you're an LLC, he will give you mark-to-market accounting. But your brokerage, unless requested, will, the software will not be tracking the trades in mark-to-market. So that's why don't, don't learn the hard way like I did. Request mark-to-market accounting at the very beginning of your journey. So once you create the account, you request mark-to-market accounting. Okay, so now, you have your LLC and like that's gonna, that cost me, if I remember correctly, a little bit under $1,200, but it was well, well worth it. Every state is different. Everyone's different, but um, it was well, well worth it. And then setting up is the highest cost. Every year you will have to pay uh, fees to the state depending on the state you're in, but they're not a lot of money, but it's still well, well worth it. So you set up your LLC, you have your EIN. You now have your, 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 your checking account um, from the bank that you choose through the LLC using the EIN, and then you created an LLC brokerage account, and you requested mark-to-market accounting, and you deposit the $50,000 into your LLC, LLC checking account, and then, you, you take, and then you, in your brokerage account, you make sure you take it from the checking account. Everything must go, like if you take, if you take money out, it must go from the brokerage to the LLC checking, and then you can take it out through your name through the checking account. But you never want to put money in your personal checking account into your brokerage, into your LLC brokerage account. You want to keep it apples to apples, okay? So that's pretty much it. That was the quick, in the best way I can, because you guys know I can talk a lot sometimes, that was, a bit, that was the quickest and best way I know to explain why an LLC is best if you're a trader and what some of the prerequisites are. And then I gave you my tips on how to do it from beginning to end. Again, if you're a trader and if this sounds right to you, remember to do your due diligence. Don't just go head first into this, okay? Click the link below for traders accounting that I give you. You'll get a free ebook. You'll get a free consultation right? It's not going to cost you anything. You'll see and tax and you'll talk to the professionals and see if this is right for you. And if it is, you're welcome because you just now opened the door to advanced trading where you're going to get better rules, make more money and save more money with possible tax deductions. So that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.